Hey boos, in this video, I give commentary based on my opinion. Nothing is to be taken as factual. We are just here to have conversation. We don't expose and we don't sip tea on this channel. I'm giving you real talk straight, no chaser. Let's see if you can handle it. Oh, hell no. I want to talk about men are not the prize. Men are not the prize. And I know I may get a lot of slack and feedback from men on this video, but God bless you. I love you. No hard feelings if you don't like me. I'm going to pray for you. I'm going to pray for you. But, so if I feel you, I'm sorry, but I got to keep it real with you. We are living in a society where, you know, they trying to paint a picture that the men are the prize. And a lot of women are falling for that. A lot of women believe that the men is the prize because we have, we have more desperate women in this day and age for a relationship than we do men. Um, men may be desperate for sex, but they are not desperate for a relationship and love <laughs> in this day and age because a lot of men, not all, but a lot of men doesn't see marriage as being the goal anymore. But most women do. Most women in this day and age wants to get married. Nothing wrong with that. But they, 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 they desperate. It's Yanni and I'm back with another video. So in today's video, I wanted to talk about men seeing themselves as the prize. Honestly, you guys, I'm not surprised. <laughs> we live in a time where being a feminine man is just at an all time high. I have never in my life and if you know me and you know my family, you know I am outnumbered by men. And none of the men that I am outnumbered by being a prize and being seen as one is masculine. They think it's feminine and they think it's weird. They're telling me like, wow, men really want to be seen as prizes and trophies? I'm like, yep, that's what they're saying now. So in today's video, I'm going to be giving my full opinion on this men wanting to be seen as prizes. And a majority of this commentary and majority of this movement is coming from YouTube, mainly YouTube and Twitter, Instagram maybe, just mainly social media. There's so many things wrong with a man wanting to be seen as a prize and particularly the men in the commentary that I've watched it comes from a place of a man valuing himself from his ego it comes from a place of how many women can he get his status his money the car he drives the house he lives in or the condo loft whatever you want to call it it stems from a place of ego a man wanting to be seen as a prize and it's very weird to me now in the meantime while you waiting fellas this is why you get on your fucking grind and i'm gonna tell you the delight at the end of the tunnel this is why you get on your grind right this is why you bust your ass this is why you accumulate income you know what i'm saying this is why you invest this is why you take care of your finances this is why you prioritize yourself over these females right so that later down the line, right, when you start accumulating wealth, you start getting status, you start getting, you know, the money, um, you working on yourself, you hitting the gym. The self-improvement, y'all, it carries too much weight almost. Guys, this is a part of the grind process. So when you get in your mid, late 20s and shit and they still in their prime, guys, you still slinging dick. You still out here doing your thing. I, I don't want to hear about the guys. Well, what about my wife? My nigga, chill out, bro. Chill out on the wife part right now. I'm, I'm giving you the light at the end of the tunnel right now. You slinging, you still prospering, you still going up. Okay, this is this is everything that you mean right here. This is all your value right here. This is uh, physically, this is mentally, this is financially, status-wise, looks. I don't give a fuck. It, insert whatever the fuck you want to call it right here. And this is your incline. 
and it's still going up. At least the women that I watch, the women that I respect on YouTube, they teach women about being the prize from a place of self-love and a woman knowing her self-worth. So to see men on YouTube teaching other men to be prizes from a place of materialism. You're literally teaching men to put their value in their pockets. You're teaching men to put their value on materialistic items or how many materialistic items they can own or show off. Or you're telling men that their self-worth is determined by how many women they can get. That's what being the prize on YouTube means for men. And I find that to be very interesting. And what I'm seeing is a pattern. I'm seeing men, particularly black men on YouTube, take content that a black woman has created to inspire and uplift and encourage black women to know their worth, to love themselves more. And you guys are flipping it to use against the same women, all for the benefit of you as a man that stems from your ego. I'm honestly disgusted. Any man that I date and he's calling himself the prize does not have a chance with me. I feel you want to be rewarded for doing things that you're supposed to do. Because I see that too when we speak on black men wanting to be prizes. They want to be rewarded for what they're supposed to do, like getting an education, taking care of themselves. And maybe they're doing exceptionally well, but at the end of the day, it's like, that's what you're supposed to do. No one's rewarding me for paying my own bills. No one's rewarding me for looking and dressing nice because I want to be a decent human being and member of society. No one's rewarding me, but guess what? I'm not looking for a reward. I'm not looking for a reward. But it's weird how you have all these men looking to be rewarded for doing what they're supposed to be doing. You know what that tells me? You're looking for a mammy. You're looking for a woman to reward you for doing what you're supposed to do because that's what your mama did. It's between how black moms will treat their daughters mm -hmm. and their sons. Oh, for oh, sure. Oh, my goodness. Uh -oh. Yes. All right, let's get into okay. it. Okay. No, 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 no. <laughs> let's get into it. I just got to say it because let's it's real. It. It's true. Let's get into it. Oh, just, let me, it's, tell me what you're saying. I mean, I, you know, when I was younger, something as simple as just like getting up at the right time. Mm -hmm. it, it would be like, you wait, like, you better get up. <laughs> to me, it'd be like, oh, no, no, school, school's about to be, you better get dressed, we need to get the, and it would be like, I'd be in my room, like, okay, I gotta get it. But then, Jaden is there, she'd be like, oh. Let's see, it. So, are different. you ready to, <laughs> oh. and he'd be like, uh, oh, maybe one moment. <laughs> And then I'd be ready at the door, like, okay, here we go. And he's getting his shoes. <laughs> and he's getting his oatmeal bowl. That's true. She yeah. might have a point. She might have a point. Because I would be like, no, you got to be on it. Mm -hmm. mm. You? Nah. I'm not your mama. I want a man, not a boy, looking to be spoon fed and rewarded for getting a college education, for getting a college degree. Another thing, the way I see it, there are a lot of scammers here on YouTube, particularly on that side of YouTube, and you know what side I'm talking about. There's a lot of scammers over there. A lot. Fraudulent. Scammy. You have masculine GMO, and then you have masculine organic. A masculine organic is not going to be looking to be the prize. They're out here conducting business in society. They're not looking to be chosen. They're out here getting after it. So it's weird. It's very weird that you have men on YouTube that refer to themselves as high value. But when I look you up, I'm trying to do some background research in history on who you are because you're calling yourself a high value businessman. I should be able to find a business article on you on your behalf, right? No, I'm finding image consultant blogger, YouTuber, I'm looking up stuff that I'm like, dang, he no different than me. It's weird. There's a lot of scammers nowadays. And you have the GMO masculines and then you have the organic. The organic ones are not out here looking to be chosen. They're not out here looking to be seen as a prize because they're doing what they need to do as a man. One thing that I don't do on this channel is try to tell a man how to be a man. But I do listen and I hear out men and I try to understand them. I don't over talk, I don't belittle, I'm not argumentative, I listen. And when I look at the men that I respect based off of their characteristics, 
Number one, integrity, they have that. So that means I respect them highly. That is how I determine whether or not you are high value. It's not because you wear a suit. So it's just interesting to me how you have these men on YouTube now wanting to influence men to basically play women by taking content that we have made to encourage women to have standards, to have self-love, and to increase their self-confidence and self-esteem, and you guys are wanting to take it to play the same women that we're trying to encourage? How corny is that? Another thing, people are always asking me, well, what do you consider high value? It's based off of a man's characteristics. You're looking at a woman that has dated rich, wealthy, in between, and broke. And I've dated men that were broke, who had the same outlook and mentality as some men that were considered rich or wealthy. And I sat down as a woman and I'm just like, how is it that this man over here is broke, but act the same as this man over here that's wealthy? So then I sat back and I thought about it and I'm like, hmm. I have choices. I have pick of the litters. I sat back and I thought, I need to really focus on how I want to be treated as a woman. So instead of going after a man based off of what he's worth, how about I focus on this man's characteristics? And if I focus on this man's characteristics, that will determine, I'm using my discernment here, on whether or not he's high value or not. High value men carry themselves in a certain type of way. What I'm sick and tired of seeing is these men on YouTube wanting to teach men to be prizes for what? For doing what you're supposed to do as a man? You don't see women being rewarded for doing what we're supposed to do as women and as mothers. You want to be a trophy? I see you as a boy. I see you as a boy that lacks confidence to me because you can't just take pride in who you are as a man. You have to attach a label like being a prize. Do men even understand why we even started the whole Women Are Prizes movement? Because we've been out here dealing with things that a man would never understand because you don't go through the experiences that we go through. So it's just very weird how you guys wanna get on this train and start this movement all from a shysty, spiteful place. It's not organic and it's not even original. So that's another reason I can't really respect it. I get really, really irritated. It really grinds my gears when I see men on here trying to take advantage. And you're literally corrupting the whole community all because you're trying to make a quick dollar. Let's call a spade a spade. You're trying to make a quick dollar. At least the women that were on YouTube teaching women to be prizes or telling women that they're prizes, it came from a genuine place a place of love. I've seen some content, some commentary, and it's just coming from a place of status, a place of wanting to be wanted by a line of women. And it's just like, we're just trying to teach women to love themselves and to have standards and to not deal with men that are abusive, manipulative, and controlling. This is another thing that we as women, natural born women, can add to the list for things that we can't just have that is just considered off limits to men. They always try to take over and invade and it's like, can we just have something for ourselves? Can we have something for ourselves that make us feel better? Then another thing, we live in a male dominated society. Why are you wanting to be seen as a prize? Why are you wanting to be seen as a trophy? It's very feminine. So I do want to leave you guys with something. Good people deserve good people. Meaning if you're a good man, you deserve a high value woman. If you are a good woman, you deserve a high value man. But sometimes we find ourselves in situations where we may be a high value man with a low value woman, or we may be a high value woman with a low value man. When I see a high value man with a high value woman, then you can use your own definition of what that is because I feel like it's all based off of preference, characteristics. To me, I feel like because we're speaking on masculine versus feminine, and if you understand and you actually understand the social and the spiritual understanding of what these energies are, one gives, one receives. Masculine gives, feminine receives. Yes, I'm aware that both men and women carry both energies, right? So sometimes 
when a man is receiving he has to step into his feminine energy and when a woman is giving she has to step into her masculine energy i don't make up the rules when we speak on this prize it doesn't make any sense and it's feminine it's feminine for a man that lives in a male dominated society wanting to be seen as a prize you are the pursuer so you wanting to be seen as a prize doesn't make any sense to me you're the one out here getting the trophies you're the one out here getting the prizes what do you mean you're wanting to be the prize this just goes back to this whole role reversal thing and i know people are gonna be like well if it wasn't for the feminists eh, yeah they had me too they had me for a while yeah i can admit that i was being misled like you're misleading other men out here to be prizes yeah i can yeah it's not easy to do it's not hard to mislead some people clearly but when i think of this whole prize and femininity and masculinity i'm just like an alpha male would never an organic alpha male would never want to be seen as a prize never he's out here making decisions conducting business making choices and he's confident in what he chooses to pursue he's not out here wanting to be seen as a prize and most likely he's going to take offense to that because he's just like why would i want to be a prize i'm a provider and i try to understand okay maybe men on youtube are teaching men that they are prize when they're dealing with low value women the woman is definitely the prize will always be the prize okay and a prize is someone is a woman that you have a lot of respect for that you would cherish as a man but i also feel like a good man is a gift a gift a good man is a gift a good man gives you a certain level of luxury and the type of luxury that i'm talking about is not materialistic it's no there's nothing materialism is going to be within this conversation it's strictly more so emotional or character based but i wanted to say that a good man is a gift a good man provides you a life of luxury and it includes emotional stability emotional stability is something that i don't see our generation really talking that much about you know i see our generation of mostly women being driven by you know the bag the bag because it's in these lyrics with these female rappers that are the breadwinners within their relationships but in reality a good man is going to provide you everything that you need right you don't need anything he's going to provide you with everything that you need now depending on how you play your cards as a woman will be the determining factor in whether or not this man can provide you with more because that option is going to always be there depending on who you choose to be with but i do feel like we as both men and women we do get a choice we, we do get a choice in who we end up with whether you see yourself as the prize or you see yourself as the gift as a man but both parties if you are a good person a good man a good woman you are either the prize or a gift to someone and i feel like both genders should be cherished because you are good people and you deserve good things coming to you. You deserve receiving good things. So this debate about, you know, who's the prize? I just feel like the conversation and the narrative on YouTube is that the women are the prize, but they never mention how a good man being in a woman's life is a gift. A gift of luxury, a gift of privilege, a gift of emotional stability, and then also you're receiving a man that is of good character because he's a provider he's going to provide everything that you need so a man can definitely be a gift to you as a woman but i also feel like a woman can definitely be the prize for a man but then i started watching more content and the more content that i was watching surrounded around this whole men being prizes it came from a place of ego it came from a place of ego it came from a place of a man placing his value in his pockets, placing his value off of his status within society, placing his value off of what car he drives, how many women he can get, how many women he can have sex with. And that is just not a man of great character to me. So in my eyes, that's not a high value man. 
And no, I don't feel like a high value man is perfect, but I do see a lot of scammers out here on YouTube. I see a lot of misled information and it's just ridiculous. And I see a lot of role reversal and it's just, oof. It explains why we live in a society now where there's a lot of feminine men, a lot, a lot. And then you have some that wanna call themselves masculine, but don't wanna put in the work to be one. Being a masculine man takes leadership, which takes work, which takes discipline, which takes consistency, which takes actually going out here and getting what you want. I would love your thoughts and opinions on this, but I'm just really turned off by this whole men wanting to be prizes, it stems from a man's ego. It doesn't stem from a place of self-love. The way that we as women on YouTube have been trying to influence and teach other women to have, which is just self-love, standards, self-confidence. It doesn't stem from that same place. So I just feel like men are being scammed. And then men are not being taught how to be men. They're being taught how to play women. I don't appreciate that. I don't like that at all. That's all that I have regarding this video, you guys. I would love your thoughts and opinions, so make sure you comment them down below. And if you're new here, subscribe. Hit that notification bell so that you are notified for when I upload. This is Real with Yanni, and I will see you guys in my next video.